Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Funda family. In this video, I'll discuss about Cartesian coordinate system. Before I start with my explanation, let me tell you the outlines of this video. Here in this video, first I'll discuss about direction identification in Cartesian coordinate system. After that, I'll discuss about representation of Cartesian coordinate system. After that, I'll explain projection of vector. And at last, I'll solve one problem based on projection of vector. So let us begin this session with first agenda. That is direction identification in Cartesian coordinate system. Sometimes you will be given with two different axes. And from two different axes, you may need to find the direction of third axis. So how to identify it? Let me explain that. For example, if you have been given with axis X and axis Y, then what you need to do, you need to rotate one screw from X to Y. If you rotate screw from X to Y, it will be moving in Z direction. So if you rotate screw from X to Y, but obviously it will be moving in this direction means this axis is Z axis. If you have axis Z, and axis y like this and here you need to rotate screw from y to z so if you rotate screw from y to z you will be moving towards x direction so if you rotate it like this screw will be moving in this direction that is x direction so here question is based on what should be the sequence of rotation the sequence of rotation should be x y z x y z if you rotate it from x to y, then you will be moving on z. If you rotate it from z to x, then you will be moving towards y. That is how rotation sequence should be there. Right. For example, if you rotate it from z to x, you will be identifying direction of y. See, usually we need to identify positive axis direction. That's why I'm taking sequence like this. Let me take one example. Here we have three axes, right? Here we have three axes. But I don't know what is the direction of unknown axis. So here let us consider we have Z over here and we have Y over here. So what should be the direction of X axis? So in which direction we need to rotate? We need to rotate from Y to Z. Then you will be getting X axis. So if you rotate it from y to z then you will be moving in which direction you will be moving in this direction right so screw will be moving in this direction means this is the direction of unknown axis that is x axis that is how one can identify unknown axis direction right now i'll explain you representation of cartesian coordinate system see in cartesian coordinate system we have three coordinates x coordinate y coordinate and z coordinate if you consider one point and if you have x axis y axis and z axis like this then you will have to identify the magnitude on x axis magnitude on y axis and magnitude on z axis for this point p those coordinates are px py and pz and that one can identify based on trajectory like you see this point p that you need to plot vertically down on xz plane first so on xz plane if you trace a point over here then you'll have to take perpendicular line towards x axis that is giving you x coordinate and perpendicular line towards z axis that will be giving you z coordinate and with respect to y axis perpendicular line on this point p will be giving you y coordinate right so here we have point P that is having direction as per coordinate PXI plus PYJ plus PZK. And if you want magnitude, then magnitude will be square root of X component square plus Y component square plus Z component square. That is how one can identify coordinate and magnitude of that point. Right. Now, I'll explain you projection of vector. The projection of vector means what? How much magnitude of one vector is aligned on another vector? 
like if you observe here we have vector a and here we have vector b if you want projection of vector a on b then you will be taking perpendicular line over here so this projection that will be a cos theta provided theta is angle between a and b and if you want projection of b on vector a then you will be tracing perpendicular line on a so that will be giving you projection of b on a that is b cos theta here theta is angle between a and b if you want to identify theta then from dot multiplication we can identify it cos theta is a dot b divided by magnitude of a and magnitude of b right let me explain this by solving one problem so here we have been given with two different vectors vector a and vector b and we need to identify projection of vector a on b and projection of vector b on a the projection of vector a on b that is a cos theta and projection of vector b on a that is b cos theta now question is how to identify this that one can identify based on dot multiplication if you have vector a dot vector b then that is a b cos theta so from this we can identify a cos theta and b cos theta see a cos theta that will be this b that you need to take it over denominator so that will be a dot b divided by b and if you want b cos theta then that will be a dot b divided by a right so here you need to understand how to identify magnitude of a magnitude of b and a dot b let us find it see here we have vector a so from which we can have magnitude of vector a that is square root of x component square plus y component square plus z component square so that is 3 square plus 2 square plus minus 1 square so this will be square root of 9 plus 4 plus 1 so that is square root of 14 right if you want magnitude of b then that will be square root of x component square that is 2 square plus y component square that is 3 square plus z component square that is 6 square so this is square root of 4 plus 9 that is 13 plus 36 that is 49 so square root of 49 is 7 now we need to identify a dot b see what is a dot b a dot b is x component multiplication that is 3 into 2 plus y component multiplication that is 2 into 3 plus z component multiplication that is minus 1 into 6 so 6 plus 6 minus 6 that is plus 6 only so now we have all the values we can identify projection of a on b that is a cos theta so what is a cos theta a cos theta that is a dot b divided by b here a dot b that is 6 and b is 7 and if you want projection of b on a so that is b cos theta so what is that that is a dot b divided by a a dot b that is 6 and divided by a a is square root of 14 right so that is how we can identify projection of one vector onto another vector i hope now you are having fair enough idea about what is cartesian coordinate system and how to identify projection of one vector on another vector in future coming videos i'll be solving many other problems with this video lecture series of electromagnetics theory stay tuned with this channel thank you so much for watching this video